Hi guys, welcome back to the top 10 must do's for good blog posts. Uh, this is number two. Proper headings is number two. Headings and subheadings are super important, not only for readability and scannability, um, but also for SEO. So for readability, you've seen headings of different sizes. Um, it helps break up the content. It helps important things stand out. It's for SEO, it's not a major ranking signal, but it is important. And Google follows a hierarchical structure, so you want to stick with that. So for instance, in HTML, you have H1 through H6. Your rule of thumb here is that your headline, which go back to number one, compelling headline, if you haven't watched that one, um, your headline is going to be your H1. That's your most important tag. And your um, your H2s are going to be major points, followed by H3s, H4s, and so on. Most people just use H1 through H3 the most often. That's what we kind of do as well. But um, so for simplicity's sake, follow these guidelines. Your post title is your H1. Your major point h2 followed by subpoints h3s and so on go back you can go back to a, your second major point is an h2 followed by subpoints h3s and so on and repeat that as many as times as you need to so you can go back from an h2 to another h2 as long as you're not skipping um skipping levels if that makes sense um, and it's okay to have text in between them you do not want to keyword stuff that's spammy. Don't don't just jam all your keywords into your headings. Um, Google will flag that as spam. But we do recommend having your focus keywords, which we'll talk about in another video later, your focus keywords in one heading and preferably in H2. So we'll talk more about keywords later, but um, it's important to have headings and um, help help users who are scanning to really understand what the page is about and the hierarchical structure helps google also understand what the page is about as well so there you go number two headings